New today, he is the one to watch in the Republican Party, and all eyes were on him this past spring when he delivered the Republican response to President Biden's address to a joint session of Congress. News 2's Carolyn Murray spoke with U.S. Senator Tim Scott, who says the 2022 midterm is his last time running for U.S. Senate. Sophia, I took that question a bit further and also asked if U.S. Senator Tim Scott would run for president. You will hear his answer to that question later tonight. But right now, listen as the senator talks about the two reasons his police reform legislation failed. What stopped the bill from going forward, and there were two major issues. One was the issue of where will the local law enforcement lose money? And so there were 11 sections of the current negotiation that reduced funding, eliminated eligibility, or frankly defunded the police. That was one holdup. The second holdup was nationalizing local police. That is something that I'm just adamantly opposed to doing. We, we cannot have the federal government in charge of setting the, the ways of doing business in, in 10,000, well, there's 16,000 local police departments should not be controlled by the federal government. Those are the two issues. And coming up later tonight on News 2, you will hear more of my conversation with Senator Scott, who talks about what he has done to improve the lives of people in his home state and right here in his hometown.